Warning, this show is filmed in a bar, therefore it may contain coarse language, rowdiness, and some humor that may cross personal lines. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to Having a Gab at Yes Fives. This is our second show today. How was your week, Justin? Oh, well, it's not too bad. I spent, uh, spent most of it uh, editing the first show. <laughs> right. Well, I spent the majority of it practicing on my uh, piano skills. Yeah, we're going to play later. We're going to play the uh, opening theme. <laughs> So, this is Justin Foley. This is Tara O'Reilly. <laughs> Tara's going to be talking to Will Hapgood. Will is a local entrepreneur. He's got his hands in a bunch of different pots, and he's going to be talking about that with Tara in the on-the-air segment in the O2 Brute Oxygen Bar. And Justin here is going to be chatting with our friend Karen Silver, who we both went to school with, and she just put out a brand new book called Come On We Goes. So we're looking forward to chatting with her. Yeah, for sure. You ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. Everything. He is, um, when you think Newfoundland entrepreneur and you think somebody who can do just about anything like a jack of all trades, that is this guy right here, Will Hapgood. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, well, we know that you have a, about four or five different businesses going on, um, but one of your main ones is PRI Rigging. That's right. So, I own a rigging company um, that basically we do all, all the shows and concerts on the island and we travel always up the corner brook. Uh, we also do, I guess, all the big outdoor concerts and that kind of stuff, the big stage setups and all that. So it's the crew and the rigging crew, the guys up on the top in the buckets and the man baskets and on the beams and the buildings. And so it's a pretty interesting gig. Yeah, yeah that's going to be so neat. I mean, so you're getting to see all these really cool shows. Um, a couple of them that you set up were uh, like the Globe Trotters. That's right, right? Yeah. Carlin Globe Trotters, Johnny Reed. That's right, yeah. Right? Um, who else? Who else? Like, what oh, I've done them these? all. Like, so, Nelly. Kiss and all the big ones over the years. So basically, I've been in the business now and done most, say, all the Mall 1 shows for the last, I think, 12 years. So uh, basically, every show that's passed through Mall 1 over the last 12 years, I've kind of worked on it some way. Uh, and then most of the outdoor concerts that have happened right across the island I've also worked on, so it's been an interesting gig, for sure. Yeah, that's so we got a couple ones that I work on, uh, like we're going on tour this year uh, with, a sh with, a, with a kid show, actually. It's uh, called Paw Patrol, and we're going uh, all the way to Ottawa, actually, and taking a crew of people that are all traveling across, doing all the setups all the way across. It's an interesting one. So that's starting here at St. John's? It starts out at St. John's and ends in Ottawa, and we're hitting uh, Sydney and... Halifax, and Moncton, and, uh, Ottawa, Fredericton. Uh, so we got a few little spots that we're hitting right across. Uh, we also, uh, it's going to be the first time that we're taking a full crew with us this time, which is kind of an interesting one. Uh, so it's something we're all looking forward to, for sure. Well, again, and so in St. John's... Um, Starts in October. Right on. And then goes all the ways to uh, about halfway through November, we'll end up in Ottawa. Right on, cool. Because I know that Paw Patrol is a super popular kid show. Oh my god, it's great. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm actually heading out this week. Uh, fly to Atlanta to see the same show that's coming through here. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's something that you heard here first. That Paw Patrol is going to be yeah. here in October, and uh, when you see um, Chase and Sky and uh, Rubble. Um, all the people that are going to be up above there to help set that up is going to be uh, Will Hopkins company here. Thanks, so. yeah. yeah. Who is the coolest person that you met, the neatest person that you met in all of this? Oh, concert? I had to say, of all the people that I met and, like, most awesome dudes, uh, probably had to be Chris Christopherson. He's probably the coolest, yeah, for sure. He, uh, very humble guy, showed up, wouldn't, like, the guy open the trunk, he opened his own door, he's like, no, 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 and then he went, took his own bag and his own guitar in, 
And the guy was like, but this, I, I'm getting paid to do this job for you. And he's like, no, 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 how about you just, can you get the door for me? And then, like, he, like, super nice, super friendly, talkative, like, very nice fellow. Yeah. That's wicked. Yeah. Are you sure he's not from Newfoundland? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like someone from Newfoundland. <laughs> for sure, yeah. <laughs> so, with this entrepreneurial spirit that you have, um, what triggered that originally? I've kind of always had a little bit of a, an entrepreneurial background. Um, like I worked, I managed, I worked my way up through a few companies and became a manager and then uh, I was district manager for a buck or two by the time I was 19 years old. And then uh, I moved to Toronto and became uh, the manager of a bike shop up there and the bike shop grew to a big bike shop now, it's like a real big bike shop in Toronto. And I uh, started from a little thing and it grew. So then um, I seen that I had the capability and the spirit to do it. So then I basically, when I came back home, I'd done some random jobs here and there. And finally, I just realized uh, one day that, you know, I should be doing this for myself. And I got offered the opportunity at one point to kind of go out on my own in the construction industry. And then from there, I kind of it's kind of snowballed now in the production company and I also have a zipline company that basically does, uh, um, we just built our first zipline last year and, um, uh, for a not-for-profit not group and uh, yeah, so it's kind of been snowballing ever since. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much, Will, for being on the show. Not a problem. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the oxygen. Mm, what, were sure. you, what were you, um, what scent did you have going there? I got Ocean Mist and Apple Teeny. What about yourself? I'm on the lavender. Yeah, yeah. place the lavender or eucalyptus is also a popular one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably have that one afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, okay, well, thanks a lot, Will. It For was sure. uh, yeah, super nice chatting with you, as always. Great. And I'm sure, uh, well, best of luck tomorrow in uh, in Atlanta when, yeah, when you head out. And you. then we'll see you again in about 10 days. Great. Awesome. Thanks. See you. <laughs>
writing style, but I was, my major work was done in journalism and nonfiction work, so okay. I kind of just want to branch out and, you know, explore yeah. what I'm really passionate about. Well, that's always a good thing to be doing. So, what what's the process like? You know, this is a self-propelled project. What's mm-hmm. the process of going from writing to having a published hardcover book in your hand right now that's available for sale what uh... Uh, it's a long process well I went self-publishing so that was a bit of a a journey on its own because I wasn't really familiar with it Um, I applied for a grant from uh, the Newfoundland Labrador Arts Council Council, and I was uh, awarded a part of the funds that I needed to for the publishing costs and everything Um, and I had to come up with the rest myself um but there was a lot of, you know, back and forth between my publishers with, you know, going over images and going over editing and making sure that the proofs were what I wanted and things like that. So, I mean, it was almost, uh, it was about a six-month endeavor of, you know, working together with a creative team to come up with a finished product that we were all happy with. Okay. And talking about the images, did you do the illustrations in your book as well? No, I didn't. Uh, Dana Harrigan did the illustrations for the first story. Oh, wow. And Shan Pomeroy did the illustrations for the second story and the cover art. That is so cool. That is so cool. And so you said you were doing journalism with the muse and stuff like that. Um, so how many, how long were you doing journalism for? Um, let's see, so I started at the Muse in 2014 as a volunteer, and then I was the features editor in 2015, uh, the lifestyle editor and the online editor in 2016 and 17, and then this past year I was the editor-in-chief. And I've done some freelancing for some other works and book reviews for the Newfoundland Quarterly and things like that, and, you know, some freelancing here and there, but, uh, yeah, I really... I really wanted to... Well, these are things that always confused me as a kid, too. It's like, it's the first day of spring. Why is it snowing, you know? And, <laughs> or, you know, three blocks that way. It's like, what does that mean? Like, in St. John's, it means absolutely nothing. So, yeah, you know, it's just like, true. I wanted to explain those things to kids. And, like, you know, especially when you get most of your information from mainstream media, even if it's mainstream Canadian media, you know, it still differs from us a little bit in some ways sometimes, you know? So. Yeah. We are kind of our own uh, crazy random animal. Yeah, we're, we're like exactly. a platypus. Yes, you know? we are very much so. Yeah, we are an egg-laying mammal. That's <laughs> been, got the face of a, a face of a duck and the body of a beaver. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's Newfoundland. That's totally Newfoundland. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So they're available now at uh, Lester's Farm Market and the Heritage Shop so far, and I'm working on some other local uh, retailers and things like that. Oh, excellent. So you guys definitely need to check out Karen's book. It's called Come On We Goes, and it's a kid's book. It's got two stories in it called Around the What and The The Great Great Foggy Foggy Day. So check out that book, and thanks so much, Karen, for coming in and talking about this. And uh, let us know when you got your next project on the go. I'd love to get you back. Oh, I have a book launch, actually, at Mex uh, Athletics in Mount Pearl on right. July 15th, and it's open to the public. There's no charge. There's going to be bouncy castles, face painting, pizza, and all that stuff, book signings and readings. Oh, that's excellent. So it's like a combination of a book launch and a carnival then. Yeah, exactly. Funky. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me, Justin. No problem. You take care now. Thanks. glad it's a cold day. It's our first plus 20 day in forever. <laughs> thanks so much guys for watching the show. Uh, thanks a whole bunch to Karen Silver and to Will Hapgood for being on. We're super excited for what you guys got going. Um, and stay tuned for next week when uh, hopefully Justin's still going to be working here if he hasn't quit. <laughs> Bye everybody. I'm going home. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want my pants. <laughs>